Nashvillians rally around people whose lives were forever changed by crime. The event kicked off National Crime Victims Rights Week. A survivor of domestic violence tells News Channel 5 Sina Sleem why it's important to have the continued support of the community. It's something that can happen in a matter of minutes, but stays with you for the rest of your life. They don't get to go back and pretend like violence doesn't happen. They just have to live with whatever that experience was. Sometimes victims can feel hopeless. A lot of times when violence happens, people feel like they have been forgotten. They feel like, you know, the story happens and then everybody moves on. But as the community comes together for Crime Victims Rights Week, supporters are sending a different message to victims that they are not alone. The ceremony is a way to honor and remember those who have been impacted by crime. It also lets the community know what resources are available to them. Four survivors took the stage to tell their story. One of them was Mary Jones a survivor of domestic violence. My children were very young. Uh, my husband um, was strangling me in front of them, and uh, we ran away from him. Although it's been 10 years since Mary escaped her abuser, she can still remember the fear she felt the day she left. My heart was in my throat. I was very afraid about leaving, and statistically, that's when a lot of victims end up getting killed. Mary says it's important to share her story so that others in a similar situation know there is help and there is hope. When you meet these people that are out here with resources and support, you realize, wow, I could have left a long time ago. Along with speeches, the ceremony had participants write on colorful strips of cloth and tie it on a banner. It's a symbol of solidarity for those impacted by violent crimes. In Nashville, Sina Sleem, News Channel 5. And we have a list of resources for crime victims on newschannel5.com.